Murphy, Patrick? Marcus, it's been an inconsistent year for the secondary, and I know a lot of that has had to do with not having a normal offseason, not having, you know, the, the normal number of games. But how have you seen this group evolve, and specifically your play in the slot? How, how do you feel you have evolved as a player in that position? Um, I would say, like you said, it, it's been a weird year. Um, but as a, as a group and as a collective, we've really grown um, from uh, – just as a unit entirely, you know, uh, coach to player, player to player. And I think it just really has to come down to trust, you know, trusting each other out there, knowing that uh, your teammate, your brother is going to be there to, to help you. And you have such such great players all around, you know, all around you. Um, it really helps to just play comfortable and play free. And I think that's that's really helped us as a secondary and for myself personally this year. Next up is Spencer Holbrook. Spencer? Marcus, what do you see in practice from Seven Banks that, that has improved throughout the year? Because he seemed like he was playing a little timid at the beginning of the year um, and not coming up making plays. But, but now he seems to really be finding his groove and, and really getting into, getting into some guys out there on the corner. So what have you seen from him in the last few games that make you think that he's ready for a national title game? Um, first off, Seven is just an amazing athlete, uh, great person, smart player. And, you know, just with this being his first year, you know, completely starting, I think he's just reached a, a new comfort level and been able to trust his training, trust his, his body, his technique. And now you get to see the, the results on the playing field. So uh, we're excited to, to see Seven on, on Monday, make some plays and help, help, help bring a ring home. Next we'll hear from Dan Hope. Dan? Hey, Marcus, just what's it like, you know, preparing for these wide receivers with, you know, Devontae Smith winning the Heisman and then, you know, the, the potential that Jalen Waddle could be back too? Um, it, it's extensive, uh, you know, preparing for these guys. Um, you know, of course, Devontae uh, just won the Heisman the other night. Um, and, you know, just all around, they're, they're, they're great players. You know, anytime you're in the national championship, they're, you know, there won't, there won't be bad players on the, on the field, you know, so. Being able to, you know, get on the film, you know, prepare for, for what we think they're going to do. Um, it, it's been fun as well. So just really excited to get out there um, and compete as a secondary against their group. So uh, we're ready, just ready to win. Next, we'll hear from Bill Rabinowitz. Bill? Marcus, uh, kind of along the same lines, how much do you guys relish this opportunity You've taken some criticism as a unit, and now you're going to play the best. Uh, how much do you relish that? And, and just to follow up, what's your status for next year? You're a senior, but obviously you can come back if you want. Um, well, I guess to start off, uh, I, I do plan on, on coming back next year. Um, and then just, just as a unit, like you say, anytime you know you have a, a group of competitors, like, like I feel we are as a secondary, you uh you do you do um, look forward to these opportunities. Um, you're on the biggest stage in college football, and I think we've grown a lot as a unit. And so to just go out there and, you know, show how much we've worked um, all throughout the year and to, you know, hopefully let the results be a win on, on Monday, uh, you can't ask for more. So we're really excited, like I said um, earlier, to, you know, have this opportunity to play against such a great unit that, that they have over there on the other side of the ball and to go show what we can do um, as Buckeyes. So... Next up will be Tony Gerdeman. Tony? Hey, Marcus, what have you seen from Lathan Ransom over the last month or so that has allowed him to take on this new role? Um, first off, Lathan, you know, like, like Seven Banks, he's such a great athlete. Um, you know, he's, he's played in a practice at a lot of different spots um, throughout the year, and he's really found a, a comfort level in his role um, now. And he's just such a smart player to be so young. You know, he, he asks, you know, a ton of questions. He's always trying to figure out more. How can I how can I better myself here? How can I better myself there? And he's really, you know, just raised his value and helped us, you know, and especially being in his, his first year, such a crazy year to, to do what he's done is truly remarkable. So really excited for Lathan to see what um, I know he can do on Monday and uh, just help the team and help the unit. So that's it. Next up is Angel Wells. Angel. So 
how great has it been all the way to the national championship game amidst the adjustments made to college football this season due to COVID? I'm sorry, can you repeat that first part? Okay. How great has the journey been all the way to the national championship game amidst the adjustments made to college football this season due to COVID? Um, yeah, no, nah, I, not just, you know, college football, you know, all the changes, of course, our, our season getting, getting taken and brought back and all the craziness that we're, we're all familiar with. But this year as a whole has just been, been, uh, been wild. And to, you know, finally reach this point um, to where we're playing for it all, you, you can't write a better story than that. And so I think it just, it brings a new level of excitement, you know, to our team, just knowing how much we've been through as a whole. And I'm sure um, to the outside world, maybe you won't, we won't know, you know, how much is, has really gone on, you know, in these walls, but uh, we're all extremely excited to, you know, have something to show for all the perseverance that we've showed throughout the year. So just really ready to, to get this thing rocking in Miami and uh, come back with a ring. Next up, we'll hear from Nathan Baird. Nathan? Hey, Marcus, a little bit of a different role for you in some ways in the Sugar Bowl with uh, the safety time that you were getting. I'm just curious, um, what did you like about that? Is there a way that you think that that fits your skill set? And, um, and why, why do you think that that was a good matchup for you? I would just say, you know, Coach Combs and our defensive staff, they came up with a, a great game plan for Clemson. And it was a, a role that I, I tend to practice in uh, at times. I kind of bounce around. I'm in practice, just, just making sure, you know, I'm knowing all the spots. And I think that's something that we that we cherish as a, as a unit is everybody knowing every spot. And for this game plan, um, that just happened to be uh, what was my best, my best role personally for the team. And I think it worked out well collectively. Next up is Joey Kaufman. Joey? Hi, Marcus. Just want to know if you could uh, tell us a little more about kind of your decision to, uh, to return for next season, kind of what factored into that. Um, I'm still enjoying being a Buckeye, man. Um, this year has been uh, just crazy. And, you know, I know we've had a, a shortened season. Um, we've lost games here or there. And I'm just – I'm ready to come back and uh, help our unit get to – get to the, the standard that, that we know we hold ourselves to and that we, we should be. And uh, like I said, I'm just, I'm too happy to be a Buckeye man. I'm not ready to leave yet. So still got unfinished business. And our final question uh, here from Marcus comes from Adam Rittenberg. Adam? Hey, Marcus, you kind of touched on this, but just how everything you guys have been through this year, how much have you kind of had to check on your teammates you know, just kind of mental health and your own mental health with the different challenges and the stopping and the starting just to get to this point to play a championship. Right. Uh, you know, the, these players on this team, uh, myself included, have just been through so much this year. Um, you know, not seeing our families, many of us, you know, not being able to see our girlfriends, um, and just to, to be in this bubble and to just be around each other, it's been it's been tough. And to go through all that, you know, since June and then to have our season ripped away, um, there was a lot of grieving going on, you know, around these walls and these hallways. And, you know, to have it come back and to, you know, show up to work every day, you know, and putting in the, the hours that, that we do, uh, it can be rough on, on your health and on your mental health. And so having those brothers, you know, right there next to you, knowing they're going through the same thing, um, I think it's helped a lot of guys. And I know personally it's helped me uh, this year. You know, it hasn't been easy uh, personally and across the board. So just like I said, being able to have that brother that you can lean on uh, to get through these tough times during this year has, has been great. And now that we're, you know, towards the end and have something to show for it, um, you know, I think it, it made it all worth it. So. That's really all I got. Good. Thanks a lot, Marcus. We appreciate your time and look forward to seeing you in Miami. Yep. Have a good one. Thanks.